Yes, indeed, folks, you're tuning to Blue Please here on WOW Radio with myself, Tall Biscuit. If you just tuned in, then you have missed 15 minutes of the show. That is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Do you not understand how important it is to be here on time? Because if you're not, what happens? You have to catch it on the podcast. Is that as good? No, it's not, because you don't get the atmosphere and all that good stuff in the IRC channel. But if you have missed something, you can check it out on the podcast feed. Check out our website, wcradio.com, or have a look for us on iTunes, whichever is more convenient for yourself. Now, let's talk about some drama, because we love that kind of thing. Oh, yes. So, some guy posted a thread earlier this week, and it was entitled Ghost Crawler. And it had this bizarre sort of groveling sort of, hey, I really love you Ghost Crawler stuff, in really bad anguish. And the thread was quickly dropped. However, some smart ass decided to do the same thing, but replace Ghost Crawler's name with my name. Oh dear. So what happened, of course? It became a troll pit. Now, what's a troll pit? Well, the wonderful thing about troll pits, which is similar to the wonderful thing about Tiggers, only somewhat more violent and bloody, is that the trolls live in the troll pit. And the people that come into the troll pit, who think they are trolls, well, they get eaten. They never get out again. What comes into the troll pit never, ever escapes the troll pit. And that thread became the biggest troll pit you have ever seen. To the point where in the... It actually was in less than 24 hours. The thread locked itself due to reaching post cap. Yes, indeed. I believe that is the fastest. In fact, I'm pretty much convinced that is the fastest a non-Blizzard post has ever reached thread cap. It was crazy. And the trolling, and the spamming, and the crying, and the whining, and the ridiculous stupidity of the whole thing was absolutely freaking hilarious. Oh, seriously, it was wonderful. I have never seen anything like it. I let's face it. Anyone who gets a thread like that for themselves and themselves alone, that's a big ego trip. You know, I have no problems ego tripping. Not at all. Why would I? I'm not shy about anything. Hell no. If I was, I wouldn't be on the air. That would just be stupid. And if I was shy, I'd be like, Hi. My name's Total Biscuit. I I'm doing a show here on Wow Radio. It's, it's not very good, but you might want to listen. No, we don't do it like that, you fools. We do it like this. You will listen because it's the best damn solo Wow show on the internet, bar none. Period. Prove me wrong. You know, simple as that. So this thread went into a massive spiral of fail. It was so funny. You've got people that just don't get it. I, it's nice to link this in to what I was saying about Insidia earlier, because people will come up with the wildest accusations and never, ever have a shred of proof. And then if you say anything whatsoever in response, they will demand proof from you. Uh, guys, this isn't how it works. This is how it works, okay? You make an accusation, you have to prove it. Burden of proof is on the accuser. <laughs> For God's sake, we had some guys saying, oh, all that happens when you argue with him is he makes the argument boring by asking for stuff like proof. Oh, no, not proof. Welcome to having a discussion with a reasonable, sane, rational adult. I suppose if you are having an argument with someone who is, say, 10 years old, then proof wouldn't really be an issue. You just shout at each other until one of you bursts into tears and runs off. I'm sorry, that doesn't work on the internet. You can't make somebody cry over the... Actually, that's not true. I think I've done that to two people. But most of the time, you can't make someone cry over the internet. Especially not me. I mean, for God's sake, I'm the most well-known troll on WoW Europe forums. And what they don't get, this is what they don't understand, is that while, yes, I take great pleasure in pissing people off, but the only people I take pleasure in pissing off are idiots to begin with. Yeah? My hope is that if I drive off enough of these idiots, then we improve the signal-to-noise ratio on the forums, yeah? So it's like, you see how many threads today, how many stupid freaking threads. There's like another one today on the EU forums. This goes on every single day, I might add. Every day I see one of these stupid things. Why is recruiter friend not available in such and such nation? 
Now, the answer to this is available in, like, three separate places, all very easy to find. One of them is in my own FAQ, which is sticky on the top of the forums. Big thing which says, the definitive FAQ, in caps, read before posting. Eh? Then we've got the official Blizzard FAQ, as well as various blue posts. Very easy to find out. Just look for... Recruit a friend, Bulgaria, or whatever other country it is that happens to be blocked out recruit a friend. I don't even know if Bulgaria is. Just look around Google or search for it. It's not that hard. But every day you get these things. And what is what people don't get? Every one of those stupid threads that you see on the forums is another thread that has pushed off the front page and will probably never be seen again. And you know what? That thread might have been a good thread. I've seen so many threads die for no good reason just because there's been a bunch of new threads that suck. Yeah, and that's just the way that it works. Now, one of these days, I want to prove how bad this can be. You know, one of these days, maybe when I'm just completely and totally done with WoW at the point where I don't care anymore, and I'll just get all my accounts banned or whatever, and anyone else that wants to come with me, we will go on the forums and we will post as many irrelevant threads as humanly possible asking stupid questions about World of Warcraft or posting repeat threads like pre-TBC Realms or US to EU transfers. Or the bloody recruiter friend thing. Anything that's in the FAQ, we'll go post it, and we'll keep posting them, and we'll show them just what would happen if everybody did that. Disaster. Disaster. You would never, ever be able to use the forums again. That's the point. It makes the forums less usable for people. Now, why do I care so much about the forums? Because the forums are the best way that we have, as the player base in general, to interact with Blizzard themselves. Eh? Not everyone has... A pedestal, like myself. Not everyone has a show, not everyone has a soapbox that they know Blizzard listens to. Not everybody has that. So it's important that those guys who don't have it have the ability to present their concerns in a clear and rational manner. Unfortunately, in order to do that, you have to wade through a cesspit of failure. And the worst thing is... You know, even worse than the cesspit of failure is the guys that wallow in the cesspit of failure and defend the cesspit of failure. Yeah? Most people don't like cesspits, right? Most people, I would imagine, are really not big fans of them. I don't know, I'm not a fan of cesspits. Yet some people will defend the right of a cesspit to exist. And not for the reasons it's supposed to be there. It's like, ah, how dare you dictate to me, or anyone else for that matter. What we post on the forums. How dare you? Well, it's like, well, how dare you dictate to me that I cannot dictate to you? Blah, 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 ad infinitum. In the mountains. So, you get these people that will defend any stupid point of view. Yeah, people will come in and white knight these guys. Like, all these stupid questions. You're invariably, in every thread, see someone come in and defend the guy. White Knight was like, oh, he just wanted help, blah, blah, blah. Just wanted help. Yeah, he could have helped himself. Or the worst thing is people that enable them. Like, they'll give them the help. It's like, why are you giving them the help? Why? Because the answer's right there. If you didn't give them the help, people would stop posting this rubbish. And they go and find it out for themselves and learn to be self-sufficient. And yes, this does translate into WoW. Yes, it does. These are the same players that ruin your play experience. So don't enable them. Don't encourage bad behavior. This goes out not only to the player base in general, but Blizzard themselves. You do not reward bad behavior. You do not reward stupid behavior. You do not reward people who do not follow the rules. It's that simple. And by following the rules, I'm talking about following the rules of how the game works. I'm not talking about, say, oh, following harassment rules or whatever. I'm talking about how the game works. Raid says, don't stand in the fire. Don't reward people who ignore that rule. Raid says, don't stand in the void zone. Don't reward people that ignore that rule. Raid says do this. Raid says do that. Raid makes you jump through all these hoops and do all these things. Don't reward these people. Reward them when they do follow the rules. I mean, for God's sake, you are actually dealing with children here. Really. This is not just an analogy. These are actually children, a lot of them. 
You have to treat them like they're children. The only way to deal with someone like that is to punish them when they do something wrong and reward them when they do something right, not the other way around. What kind of player base are you fostering? And I'm talking again to Blizzard and the player base here. What kind of player base are you both fostering? Who? Who do you expect to come out of this? What kind of people do you expect to come out of this? And how fun are they going to be to play with? I can guarantee you, not very. These people ruin the game that you want to play. And you want to play it right, yeah? I would assume the vast majority of my listeners, regardless of whatever dumbass says on the bloody EU forums, are smart, intelligent people who are capable of rational thought. They are able to take my words with a pinch of salt. They are able to look at my show and enjoy it for what it is and not necessarily feed off of absolutely everything I say and take it as gospel. Because if you do take everything that I say as gospel, you're as stupid as they are. Seriously, you're just being fed whatever. It's just my opinion. It might be well argued. It might be nice and passionate. Or emo, as someone said on my Twitter today. I was amused by that. Yes, very emo. If you want emo, go watch Glenn Beck. He cries, like, every three minutes. Passionate, emotional, just because you're getting riled up. You're getting fired up and angry. Nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, I assume my guys, my listeners, they're pretty smart, they're pretty intelligent. So, I assume that you are the guys who do not want to deal with bad players. And yet, they keep getting enabled. And it's a really nasty axis of evil here. You've got the idiots, you've got Blizzard who enables the idiots, and then you've got the people who apologize for Blizzard enabling the idiots and apologize for the idiots. As in, and it's not just apologizing for them, it's not just, oh, have sympathy, it's like, these guys have the right. You know, the God-given right. To get this gear, to access all its content. They pay the same subscription fee as the rest of us. They get to access everything because they pay the same subscription fee. No, all the subscription fee entitles you is the right to try. The right to do or do not. So why? Why cater to them? As far as I'm concerned, anyone that enables these people is actually engaging in sustained harassment of other players. They are engaging in griefing. Yeah? It's like releasing a pack of hungry rats in the middle of a kindergarten class. You know, you know what you're about to do is wrong. You know the people you're about to unleash on those unsuspecting toddlers are really unpleasant. In this case, the animals. It's the same thing. You are enabling these idiots to go into the player base and think that their attitude is correct. It isn't. It's not correct. The game says it's not correct. Even now, with the nerfed encounters, the game still says it isn't correct. And yet, every single time we get the whining and the crying on the forums, we see the enabling of it. And the lashing out at the so-called elitist players. The elitist players... Yes, there are a couple of elitist players. I'd say they're a tiny minority. There are a few elitist players out there that will say, I'm better than you, blah, 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 blah. And you are worthless. But I'd say the vast majority of people, particularly raiders, are just people that want to raid and play well. Why is that a bad thing? Why would you want to encourage an attitude that is counter to playing well? You want to encourage playing badly? You have to play with these people. That's the 800 DPS rogue in Archivon that takes the three-piece tier 7.5 for doing nothing. He's dead half the fight. He didn't help you. He prolonged the fight. He actually worked against you. There may be people in your guild like that. People in pugs. They work against you. These people are out for themselves and themselves alone. You can say whatever you like about raiders being selfish, but I'll tell you for a fact that those raiders have to cooperate with other people in order to reach their goals. It is selfish not to play to the best of your ability because you are letting other people down. It is. There's not even a question about that. The rationale is clear. The stage has been set. The writing is on the wall, people. So for God's sake, don't enable these people. Don't support them. 
Yes, come down on them hard. Yes, make them feel like what they're doing is an affront to everything that's decent. Because that's the only way they're going to learn. If they would have been able to learn any other way, they would have done it by now. We're not talking about new players here. We're talking about people who've been playing for years and just suck because they can't be bothered to be any better. Don't give me the casual excuse. I am not taking that because I can tell you for a fact that these so-called casuals, and I do say so-called because they're not real casuals, when they get put into that Colosseum with all the limited tries, the really small instance with no trash that takes like an hour to do at best, they're going to fail. And it won't be because of gear, because they'll have a free set of tier 9. They will fail. My name is Total Biscuit. You are listening to Blue Please here on Wild Radio. Here's some more Louvite for you. It's some pipe action. Grey Sublime Archon. Enjoy. (laughs) 